Hi everyone and welcome back. And uh, in the last couple of videos, we have already seen uh, the end-to-end -end architecture, what we are going to build, how we are going to do that authentication and how this next auth can be integrated with the next GS uh, application and how we can have authentication end-to-end -end getting ready. So now what we are going to do, we are going to just set up the, all these things that how we can manage the session in the next auth and that session contains the id token and access token returned from the auth0 because what we are doing is authentication via auth0 so we already have some setup now this is just like a simple demo this is my home page and this is pretty much my airbnb setup airbnb clone we are building this is a whole uh, monorepo which contains the application packages infra and some common library and dependency outside and then we have applications in inside application i have in one next js application airbnb.com this application will have this uh, next auth configured you can see this is the the routes api routes and inside lib these are the auth0 configurations i mean next auth configurations like okay i'm using auth0 provider so auth0 provider detail client id client secret issuer id token true these are some of the parameters I'm passing and I'm having two callbacks session and JWT. So these two callbacks are really very helpful to populate the access token returned by auth0 and put that token inside a next auth session. So if you put the next uh, this uh, auth0 ID token and access token in the next auth session, then we can access this uh, both these properties, both these uh, tokens and we can actually call the external service by passing this as authorization header so this is pretty much looks like what we are doing in the session in the session we are actually uh, putting the access token and id token and inside a jwt if account exists then we are populating the access token and id token in the token property token object and same token object we are accessing inside a session callback so this is how we are able to populate the values i mean i have to uh, struggle a lot in getting at least this thing done because there is no proper uh, content available how we can manage the session how we can populate the additional attributes when you are configuring the auth0 with the next auth so this is how you will do and these are some of the routes this is the session route that means because when you are doing uh, when you are checking the session at the client components then it indirectly calls this uh, get session api and that will give you authenticated true false and the session object which contains a user object and access token and all and i have some uh, common component and here i have a already a simple layout already created with the header some body content and some footer content that gives me some bit of feeling of uh, airbnb clone right we have a new bar and everything is wrapped inside a next auth provider sorry so here we have a next auth provider and we also have a provider.ts which is using session provider as a outer context you can see here we have a session provider so how do we configure the next auth library with the next gs i mean these are just like a basic steps your uh, topmost this is you need to cre create a provider session provider and render the children and this next auth provider which you have created that will be wrapped inside your root component so what do we have root as a layout so inside a layout we will pro pro put the next auth provider and here when you do the login so here i am doing a login login is configured with the auth0 and what it will do is it will take me to the next auth screen sorry auth0 screen and here i can just enter the login credentials or i can log in with the gmail my internet uh, issues oh, sometimes it was failing but here you can see my session exists and in the header i'm showing if i'm logged in then show me the screen and to check the session i just created this additional route auth that just gives me uh, the session object uh, stringified session object here and here i can see my login information i have access token this is the client side session and this is the server side session both kind of both type of sessions i'm printing on this page just to understand a little bit more so client side session means when you are using when you are doing a huge session 
then also you get a session object in the client component and when you do in a server side you do get server side session that gives you the server side session object and here i'm just doing a stringify and json dot stringify and try to print the session object what it contains and it contains the same name email image uh, i access token and we are populating some additional property also uh, through this call backend session those are also available here and you can see here what all properties i have inside this uh, session token i have my roles i have my app metadata or zero metadata and i have my user id uh, and access token and all these properties are available so this is when you do the logout and you can just do a simple login so this is how we are how i did i configured a next auth with auth0 and uh, auth0 on auth0 i created one application configured that inside the auth provider with the uh, next auth and the next auth gives you some controls okay login with the auth0 login with the google login with the credential provider when you click on the login button uh, it will take you to the auth0 screen and from there itself it manages the session because it fetch the session from the auth0 whatever it is returning through the callback and then it manages it puts the things inside a session we can customize the next auth callbacks like a jwt and a session to decide what all properties we wanted to put inside a session so here this is the id token and what we will do now is let's say we wanted to list down all the properties airbnb properties so we will call the listing that is going to call next js internal apis because these are not external from that next js api we are going to do the axios to the proxy gateway proxy gateway is nothing but a you can say a middleware sitting on top of these small services that will forward the call to the appropriate service but here we are going to pass the authorization header to the proxy gateway so that the same authorization header can be passed to the property listing service and inside a proper listing listing service we already have a validation logic that will validate if your token is valid and not expired then only i will allow you to return the response so here auth0 is doing lots of things auth0 is doing your user management role management it is managing user metadata app metadata and populating the those things also inside a token because that we are customizing what we need uh, inside our token through the auth0 hooks and actions okay so it is sending the enriched token with all these properties and next auth session is storing those properties because i need those session properties in the next js api route so in the next js api right so i'm doing a get server side session from the session give me the access token i have the token i will do exios dot post okay your property listing api this is the authorization header if this is a private api or if this is a public api then it will work like this so this is what we have discussed and what i'm doing here is i'm making these two both the playlist parallel airbnb and udemy so the initial architecture of both the applications are similar next js next auth and uh, auth0 the integration for both of these is similar so you might find some udemy clone reference also in the architecture diagrams but you can just uh, skip that you can just ignore that it's just a name is because in the both the architecture the uh, the the different is these nest js services here i will have a property listing services property booking services in the udemy i will be having the course manager service uh, or uh, user management service or category manager service or file upload service or something like that so here i have created a proxy service and then i can also create uh, another service so this is how we can bootstrap uh, simple simple services this is a booking service so it's a airbnb what do you expect from this service from this application i should be able to list down the property user can filter i should be allow user to the do the booking if that is available do the i should allow user to do the payment so property listing booking service payment service uh, file uh, notification service all these simple simple services we can um, just create using nest commands so here you can see payment service user preference service so i'm just creating these simple skeleton folders for all these services together and i will do pnpm install on the top so uh, i'm we are already using nx nx 
to automate all those things you can just do a build you can just start and all these things to these nest.js services so the important part here is how we are allowing the communication how we are managing the session so for your next.js client components the session exists with the next auth and uh, the session the details which we are passing from uh, your next.js apis to the external apis that session is nothing but the token which is returned by the auth0 while doing a login so your next uh, next auth uh, next js client side and the next auth session exists through the cookies because once you do the login with the auth0 it returns a specific cookies and that is taking care of the session between your client and your server so here i will, I will just try to do the login again just to manage the just to see how it works and uh, so sometimes it fails because uh, of the internet sometimes it gets timed out i try to debug it uh, but it's if there is a network delay then uh, these calls will get time out so overall important part uh, in this whole flow is these callbacks session callback and jwt to callback uh, that is the way how we populate the additional required properties in our token okay like we need to get the id token and access token that we can use further okay so here we have i mean this is just a code walkthrough what we are doing here is these are the environment variables which we are populating client id auth client secret or zero issue next auth secret and the next auth url okay so because client id and client secret we are using with auth zero issuer and next auth secret and the next auth url we need for the next auth to function properly okay and this is how we are managing the session we are using external or uh, this auth provider strategy is still the jwt because uh, we at the end we are generating the token token based authentication is working uh, through the cookies between your client and your uh, next auth server okay and the same uh, token based strategy we are using between your next js apis and the next js services okay so let's see what we can do in the next like this is just like a baseline setup with the authentication already ready now we need to just build the property listing services and all and those services should start giving me the listing which i can filter on the front end same as the airbnb clone and based on my choice i can just do the booking for particular duration and do the payment this is pretty much uh, I will do and some APIs where I can see my existing uh, booking history, my current booking and all those things like a basic minimal Airbnb setup, you know, what all required APIs we know 